What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and in this video right here, we have to bust a myth. People keep asking me about this and people keep saying that they hear otherwise you cannot do this, but it's untrue. People say that you can't be mysterious, particularly people not know who you are and have a fan base that cares about you, a fan base that's lasting. Being mysterious is just all a gimmick and it's gonna go away if people don't know who your face is. First of all, people could actually not see your face and you still not be mysterious. But to stay on track right now, we're gonna use a different example than I typically use, and that's my guy Blackie Speaks, one of the dopest channels on YouTube. He's a faceless entity, you know what I mean? You don't know who he is, how he looks. However, at the same time, he has a strong fan base and I would argue it will last and continue to be more and more impactful. And here's just two quick examples. There's been a lot of things going on in hip hop over the last couple of years, whether it's losing people like Triple X or it's a lot of the things that are happening in relation to drugs and rappers overdosing and even leading to more lives lost. And the thing about that is somebody like Blackie Speaks has actually taken and used his platform in those moments to bring a great perspective, right? To really talk against certain things that are against the grain when, it, when we think about general media. He doesn't use his platform for gossip and news sharing in a lot of, in a ways a lot of other people do. And it's not even anything against those, but the power of his platform is what he shares and him being a calming human voice in those moments. He's had plenty of videos where he'll speak against not only overdosing or things like that, but drugs. And that's just not an argument you're hearing from all YouTube pages or just personalities. And the way he's going about it is not in like a clout chasing way and then when people are passing he's not doing videos just to chase clout again and trendy he doesn't monetize those videos which is something that once again reflects the fact that he's human this is a huge part of the brand and i'll connect that at the end but he has constantly also used his voice right to support people in depression and showing that he understands it and really wishes people the best in those scenarios you've seen him comment on people's twitter pages where there's rappers that might be big and they're going through something and he's just showing support and you can see the rappers support him right he's making a human connection a huge part of why people will support him they can connect with him despite a face right despite a face because he actually shows that he's human he brings those moments and offers those up to the public another thing that he does is he curates he's curating value not only what he's talking about but really being a plug for a lot of rappers, being a plug for a, a lot of waves that a lot of people might not necessarily know about. Of course, he might not be the very first person to hear every single rapper, but he's still introducing an audience to certain types of people and certain types of rappers when he does videos on them. And even greater than that, he's shown a level of quality control where it doesn't look like he's just chasing waves. So he's a voice that you can trust, even if you might not necessarily like his style, because everybody doesn't necessarily like the same type of music but that's just the way of the world right everybody's not going to like the same thing but for a certain audience he's really curating a lot of great content and putting people on to things and last but not least is really that pov which is back to being human right he has a point of view that he's constantly sharing and that's something that personalizes him in the same way we can personalize toys in a movie like toy story and people can connect and feel those connections him being a faceless voice does not get affected because he's always connecting through the things that he says, offering perspectives to add on to. If there's something that happens in hip hop, his fan base is going to go to his page just to see what he said. Even if they heard five other people comment on it, they're going to go to his page because he made a connection and he offered a point of view that is interesting, that might either conflict or even agree with people, but you know that it's his and it's authentic to him. And this is something that a lot of artists can get value from remembering once again, that if you have your own perspective, we have a lot of music and things like that, that's cool, you can catch a trend, but when people really get invested in you is when they understand that you have your own point of view and you exhibit that in your music or whatever type of content that you're posting, when you're giving your point of view. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how similar the beat is, Nobody can offer your thoughts like you can. And these are just a few things that Blackie does incredibly well to connect with his audience despite 
people not knowing how he looks. And of course, that's just another reminder that people do not need to see you because there's a lot of people that we see, right? We know how they look and we still don't connect with them. So that idea is something that's really being pushed by, I don't know, people who don't know what they're talking about or maybe they just don't understand how to make those things happen. But consider this, there's figures in history that we connect to and have never known. We got our ancestors we've connect to that have never known. Uh, there's ideas that people connect to and put their life on the line for ideas. There's cartoons where people put, you know, the cartoon tattoo on their body because they love the cartoon and they connect with it so much. There's motorcycle brands, right? There's a lot of brands that are inanimate objects and for some reason that thing has connected with them in some sort of way and offered them an experience that is greater than just a trend, a moment in time. Supernatural entities, there's so many different variations and examples that humans have the capacity to connect with things that they cannot see. So this argument and this myth that you have to have your face out there to build a fan base and sustain a fan base is not a truth. And also, once again, the idea that your face not being seen actually makes you mysterious is not a thing as well. Maybe it might create some kind of mystery at first and people might wonder, but it might be more of a curiosity where you have somebody like Frank Ocean or or a prince who has a more mystique about them. And we know exactly how they look, but they still have a mystique. Pharrell has a little bit of a mystique. You know, there, there's different ways to go about creating mystery. Ha not having a face does not make you mysterious. And showing your face doesn't mean that you're not mysterious. That's just the way it is. There's so many other elements if you understand marketing, branding, and how to go about that strategy to create those things despite a situation. But those are other moves. That's a whole nother video. Of course, I would love to know what you guys think as always. But other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.